Business processes can be optimized in Long Jump beyond establishing data policies. When more interaction is required by members of your organization, you can use workflows to negotiate the life cycle of data records. Workflows are like predefined paper trails that enable the routing of records to specific team members based on stages and criteria settings. For example, you may create a workflow for expense approval that takes place when a user submits a request for expense reimbursement. Long Jump comes with a graphical state-based workflow builder to map out record routing processes. Each workflow begins at the start state. This is where the user can push the record into the process. You can create additional states to represent each decision point in the process. Each state will have an owner or set of owners who will take the next action. Let's say there are two levels of approval needed, a manager's approval of an employee's expense report and an executive's approval if the amount is greater than $3,000. First, create the manager approval state and assign it to the record owner's supervisor. Next, create the executive approval state and assign it to the executive team member. To route one state to another, you create actions by dragging the action arrow from one state to another. The name of the action corresponds to the button the user will click on when viewing the record. For example, going from start to manager approval is the submit action. The user will see on their end a button to submit the expense report. You can create actions for the other states. In this situation, there are approve and reject actions for the manager in executive levels. If multiple people are required for unanimous approval at a given state, you can indicate that at each state. To determine if a manager's approval needs to go to the executive level, we add in the criteria to check for the total amount. In this case, there are two possibilities for an approval. If the total amount is less than $3,000, the manager's approval can go to the end state. If it is more, it gets routed to the executive level. Finally, let's create a rejection state. This will return the record back to the submitter if any of the people on the workflow reject the expense report. And we'll add a resubmit action from the rejection to the manager approval, allowing the submitter to modify their expense report and resend it to their manager. Let's see this workflow in process. When the user clicks on Submit on an expense report, the pop-up lets the user attach a short message and the record is immediately routed to the manager. Within the record, you can monitor the status of where it is in the process. The manager can receive an email or task alerting them to engage in the process. With email-based workflow approvals turned on, the user can actually send their workflow action via email without ever logging into the system. Or they can process the request from the Long Jump interface. The record is then routed to the next party for processing, or, if it is less than the $3,000 amount, it can go directly to accounting at the end state. By combining workflows with data policies, you can create elaborate processes. For example, when the expense is in the end state, meaning it has cleared all approval requirements, we can create a policy to send the record data to the accounting department, notifying the payment processor, and triggering custom Java code that sends a SOAP message to the accounting system to automatically send a check to the employee.